Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Dibba here. So this video is regarding how you can effectively use image-based questions as a source of your revision. As many people, many of your teachers, professors, guides must have focused you that the last leg of revision decides your rank. Whether it's going to be 14 or 1400, that depends on your last leg of revision. There's certain mistakes that I did at my time and certain good things that I did my time that led me to my rank. It was uh, All India rank 1400, not a bad rank, but not an extraordinary rank because there were certain mistakes that I did at my time, but certain good things that I did that didn't make it to 14,000, right? So in this video, uh, I'm going to focus how you can use image-based questions as a resource for your revision. Uh, when I think about image-based questions, the learning method that comes to my mind is active recall method. The most of the most of us follow a simple age-old method of rereading our notes when it comes to revision. But uh, an interesting fact that I want to share is that active recall method of learning and revising is actually far superior than rereading your notes because it lets you, it leads you to uh, get your mind to that hyperactive mode that it is in exam hall and it uh, you are just simulating that environment again and again and you're better prepared right uh, whenever i see an image or see a question the thing that runs into my mind is regarding that topic what all do i know about this topic and how do i answer that question so this way image based questions help you to revise multiple topics within that umbrella and thus helping you to actively recall recall your facts and your the things that you have learned during your preparation right so what is actually active recall method in active uh, active recall method whenever you see a picture whenever you see a statement immediately a list of things come to your mind and you know that you are able to recall them or not right by this you are actively trying to revise without looking at your notes or without uh, getting the clues here and there Whereas when you are reading the rereading the notes, you know that they are in front of you. You are rereading again and again. I'm not saying that's not effective, but by active recall method, you actually actually make your mind focused, more focused on recalling all the facts. So here's a recall question, and let's me uh, let us uh, go through an example how you can use image based question as a source of your revision. So in this year's uh, NEET PG exam, they asked this question. There was a mask. There was a reservoir bag attached to it and there is an oxygen tubing that is attached to it. The answer and I think they asked what is this? Uh, they asked the name of the equipment. So this is an oxygen delivery equipment. I know that. And there's a mask that is a reservoir and I can see two valves. It is a non-rebreather mask. It is a non-rebreather mask with reservoir. And I think this is a repeat question because one year and over the years, they have uh, they have been finding various ways to ask, uh, ask about various oxygen delivery systems. Sometimes they ask nasal cannula, sometimes they ask hood, sometimes they ask venturi mask, sometimes they ask non rebreather mask, sometimes partial rebreather mask, sometimes they ask how, how much percentage of oxygen, what is the FiO2, that is fraction of inhaled oxygen that they deliver. Uh, so oxygen delivery systems these are a recall question and whenever i see this image i recall all other oxygen delivery systems that are asked what is the percentage of oxygen they delivered and how do i differentiate between each of these right so um, whenever i see this okay i identify that this is a non rebreather mass there is a reservoir bag attached there is an oxygen tubing that is attached what are the various other there is nasal cannula, there is an oxygen plane, simple face mask, there is a venturi mask, there is a partial rebreathing mask with reservoir and there is a non-rebreathing mask with reservoir. And another potential MCQ that they ask is what is the percentage of oxygen they deliver? I recall that nasal cannula delivers about 25 to 45%, a simple mask 40 to 60%, venturi mask lower 25 to 60%, partial rebreathing mask because there are walls what happens in partial rebreathing mass? There are walls that make the exhaled carbon dioxide out, but one third of it collects into the reservoir bag and that is rebreathed again. So that is a partial rebreathing mass with the reservoir. 
the percentage of oxygen is lesser than that of a non rebreathing mask of course it is 60 to 90 percent in case of partial rebreathing mask but when it comes to non rebreather mask it increases to about 95 to 100 percent so this is how you can use image based question as a source of your revision by actively recalling all the facts about that topic here and there right uh, during my preparation i uh, attended bhatia's vibe session uh, they conduct a image based questions uh, vibe session of uh, two days similar coaching other coaching institutes also do that so that session helped me how i can use images as a source of revision right whenever you get bored just go through the images and recall all the things that you know about that topic same goes for various other coaching apps that are available i believe there are custom module sections where you can select image based question and practice those whenever you get bored or you feel like uh, you are a visual learner and you can use images through that another method is uh, by using flashcards uh, which i think is a much requested video and i think i'll make a video of my recall uh, how did i use these flashcards to uh, revise all the topics for example uh, this year and almost every year a question on diarrhea is there when it comes to pediatrics so this is a flashcard telling you treatment plan for dehydration i'll make a so another video on this flashcards but just telling you how you can use the active recall method so on one side of the card i have written treatment plan for dehydration plan a plan b and plan c so whenever i revise i just look at this treatment plan for dehydration plan a plan b and plan c and try to recollect all the things that i know about dehydration and the various plans of management and on the back side i write down the answer to that right and then i match how much things do i remember how frequent do i have to revise those things the same concept is uh, applied in the flashcard apps anki i think uh, these uh, require a special uh, review and uh, recall video and how do i use flashcards for the purpose of revision uh, i think this video was helpful knowing how you can use images as a resource for your revision and how active recall is actually better than rereading your notes i uh, hope that this video was helpful see you next time with another video bye bye